Hi friends, I want to talk about this concept and this tremendous potential that exists in multiple fruiting crops like soybeans and cotton and tomatoes and a number of other plants. These are essentially plants that blossom and pollinate over an extended period of time. So when we have these multi-fruiting crops, we have this reproductive bud initiation that happens at each of these nodes as, as this plant develops. These crops have a great deal of genetic fluidity where they can greatly increase the number of buds on each of these reproductive nodes. I've seen soybean plants that have as many as a dozen pods per node. So it's very easy on these crops. These crops are very fluid, they're very adaptable, and with nutrition management, we can greatly increase the number of reproductive buds per node or the, and the quality. So this is, this is true of cotton, this is true of soybeans. And I'm specifically going to focus on soybeans for just a moment here. Um, something we discovered, or we've known it for some time, but it was really brought home to us this last year, is the importance of timing of these nutrient applications. So years ago, we formulated this product called Accelerate, which is specifically designed to increase the number of reproductive buds uh, at these early crop stages. And I understood that we have a bigger impact earlier in the plant's life. But I'm, I'm constantly surprised by the degree. So this last year, we had this experience on cotton where two quarts of Accelerate applied early, like 21 days post germination, produced a much greater crop response than eight quarts of Accelerate applied three weeks later. And this same phenomenon also holds true of the soybean plant. The, the optimal timing application window is at about the third trifoliate at which you can get a very nice crop response with as little as two to three quarts of Accelerate per acre. But if you miss that window and you go past the third trifoliate to the fourth or the fifth trifoliate, you might now, now need a double the application rate to get the same crop response. But what is interesting, we know that for soybeans, it's very easy to increase the pod count and increase the number of seeds per plant. Increasing pod count on beans by 50 to 80% is quite trivial, actually. It's, it's not difficult at all with an Accelerate application. But an Accelerate application alone and increasing the pod count alone doesn't necessarily translate to higher yields because the bean plant is also very adaptable and flexible. If it doesn't have the nutrition later on during plant development, it will just simply absorb or drop some of those pods or reduce bean size. So you end up, even though you might have a higher bean count per acre, you end up with comparable yields because you've got smaller bean size. So that means you need later on during the growing season, you need a larger root capacity. So you have a better nutrient, the capacity for better nutrient absorption, particularly better potassium absorption to fill that increased number of beans. So one of the things that we've started doing is not applying just an accelerate application alone, but combining that with our macro pack and micro pack to build this robust root system so that we have the root biomass to complement and to absorb the nutrients to sustain this crop load later on in the reproductive cycle. We're starting a new service where we are putting together these blended single application products. For our customers, we're actually putting together in the same tank, in the same combination, uh, an Accelerate, Macro Pack, Micro Pack combination, or whatever fits that farm, whatever fits your specific farming context, so that you get a single container that's ready to go, that's a combination of different products. So please reach out to our team. Uh, we're at the season where we have the, the perfect window of opportunity for this. And the earlier we get these applications on, the greater the crop response we can produce. Thank you all.